My name is Marjan Ford, and I'm the principal of Greenville Early College. And Greenville Early College is a college access program within Greenville County Schools. We are set up to target students who would be the first in their family to graduate from high school or go to college. And we work with them to support them academically so that they can access college while still in high school. Um, currently, we are really small and that's by intentionality. Our goal is to create a really small but inclusive and supportive environment so that kids take great steps in terms of developing their courage and um, skills to be able to advocate for themselves and to really take on the challenge of doing something that maybe nobody else has done in their lives. In general, we have lots of extra staff. We probably have a really small student-teacher ratio and we don't break our ratios like one to 15. And that is on purpose so that people can dig down deep into um, uh, getting to know a student and knowing all of their ins and outs. Additionally, we have support from On Track, um, On Track Greenville, which is brought to us by the United Way. And as a result of On Track and the grants therein, we receive additional supports. Like we have an On Track facilitator that's there to work on any of the attendance behavior course performance needs that the students might have and we sort of triage their needs and provide them with wraparound services. We have a mental health counselor that's provided to us through that on track grant that comes from Greenville Mental Health um, to provide support services um, for any of their social emotional needs that might come up. We also have a community of schools person that comes to us from on track and community of schools does just what you think they do in terms of making sure that the kids go out into the community and see how they add value to the Greenville community, but also bring the community in to create opportunity and space for kids to learn in a new and um, inviting way. Outside of that, we have really great teachers. Um, we have great support from Greenville County Schools. And in general, we function like every other public high school in the county. So this year, our theme for learning is Back to the Future. And part of that talks about how um, we are going back or sort of slimming down. We live in a time where technology is prevalent, where every, you can find out everything that you need on social media. And a little bit, we have lost that personal connection. So our teachers are going back to developing personal connections that we're using tried and true teaching methodology in terms of helping kids make connections both to the content and to each other. Um, I remember getting like this warm fuzzy feeling when I was in school and I knew which teachers cared about me. And so that really is, is for those people that I have performed. Um, and so part of our back to school, our back to the future initiative is centered around that, making sure that kids have good viable relationships with the people that are providing them with instruction, that they feel like someone believes in them, pushes them. Teachers feel like that they can really, really teach students and that you don't have to have all of the bells and whistles operating all at the same time, that it's more important for the kids to have an intimate relationship with the content than it is for them to be able to do a TikTok video to explain that they know a math concept. And so we're trying to find a nice balance between good instructional strategies and using technology to elevate their learning. Also, um, just like in the movie Back to the Future, we're trying to remember that we don't want to correct or try to go back and change anything that's happened before. We are using that to elevate our platform. We needed, we needed all of those things to occur in order for us to continue to dream big and to take on the challenges that present themselves. We are actively trying to prepare kids for a future that we don't even know about. And it's important that they feel like they um, can communicate with others, that they can collaborate. We want our kids to have a civic-minded approach to, to the world and to think about others as they engage. For sure, just because we're part of Greenville County Schools, the G Plus initiative is important. So we're expecting for kids to walk out of our building with some type of national or state certification. And of course, because we're in early college, they're gonna have um, college credit. And so that really is what it means to be back to the future is to not forget the things that have worked and that are working to keep us connected to each other and to learning, but also to prepare for a world that we've never even encountered before. I don't know if it was by design or just by happenstance, but we have a really, really diverse group of students. Um, 
We have students that come from some of the most impoverished places within Greenville County, and we have students who come from places that are um, high performing and have great affluence. And the little community we have created really has taken on this sort of culture where it's okay to be who you are. Um, and I think that the, at the very core of that is because of the diversity that we have. Um, we sort of have a little running joke that if you are um, quirky or if you got if you march to your own beat, then the early college is for you. Um, additionally, because of the types of supports that we receive from our various community um, friends, we have been able to add people to our building that look a lot like our students. Um, we have men that come into our building that look like the boys that we serve. And they are um, men who are doing great things in their community, who are leaders and business owners. So the kids have the opportunity to see someone who looks like them doing something that's not just chilling. Um, we have really tried to create an environment in our um, space where kids not only feel like they are a part of the work inner workings of our building, but also that they see representation around them all the time. That reminds them that there are lots of people who believe in you, there are lots of people who expect great things from you, and that just because nobody may have done it before doesn't mean that you cannot do it. And we know that it's I'm scary, and but we got you. We have your back, and that, um, that there will be people to um, to cheer you on all the way. In addition to that, I feel like I've get, been given great latitude. So our building is run by dynamic women um, of color. We have my en entire sort of leadership team. Um, it consists of women of color, um, and I think that that speaks volumes. Traditionally, um, high schools are run by men, and um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I do believe that um, there's something to be said for a group of people who feel empowered to make change. And so I love the fact that my students get to see a Hispanic woman in our office controlling the, um, the activities of the day. All right. Head guidance counselor is a woman um, of color. Our head custodian is a woman of color. So all the people who make decisions and make power moves are, are strong women. And even though we have varying jobs and varying responsibilities, I want my kids to be able to see that they could see themselves in any type of position of leadership. One of our first kids to go to school last year, she went early and was going on her own. So she was going to Greenville Tech sort of by herself and she encountered a couple of issues on the campus. Super shy, very unassuming, quiet, but she encountered an issue with her bill. Now, her bill is covered. We um, try to create that, remove that obstacle for students. So there shouldn't have been an issue in Facebook. And it just was a miscommunication, but she felt like she should advocate for herself and she tried. Um, but when she got to a place in that scenario where she felt like she had done all that she could do, she came back to us and said, this is what I've done, this is what I've done. And in her casual conversation with her friends, I was able to overhear her tell them, well, yeah, I had this problem, but um, I know Miss Ford is gonna take care of it. And she told me that if they didn't get it straight, she was gonna go with me back. And so just the fact that she wasn't willing to quit, she felt like, I'm gonna tell Miss Ford, or I'm gonna tell someone in this building and they're gonna help me resolve my issue. I think that the power of what we do at the early college um, means that kids are in a space where they feel comfortable, where they feel empowered, where they feel like their voice is heard, and um, that they can add value to themselves and others.